It's fucking huge. Dude, it's so exciting. It's so exciting. <laughs> <laughs> We're like little girls. <laughs> you gotta get the forklift off. That's a forklift. Yeah. He said it's a 25k, that's what he brought. That'll do it. Yeah, it should do it. That's a van next to it, that's the box. The box is bigger than the van. It's bigger than the van. <laughs> I'm an important businessman, look at me, talking on the phone. This is the first time that we've ever not had to do anything. We had to pay people to deliver this stuff and install it for us. Because of how expensive it is, and that's the only way to keep the warranty. That's a huge bitch! Somewhere in here is... That. <laughs> you know what you don't have to do anymore, Jake? Ooh. You're not the chip auger, it's got a chip auger. It looks even bigger when it's off of the trailer. <laughs> oh, it's huge. Uh, paperwork is signed. The machine's here. He just signed it. So we're actually moving the Haas right now, only because the Haas is actually split between two pads and the back pad is sinking. So we're gonna move yeah. this under this. All right, so they got the thing unloaded and unwrapped. It looks sick. We're working on getting it into the uh, building. The wind right now is picking up super bad. You probably can't even hear me. We got our tube in here. That's gonna be the pole for the satellite. We already made the adapter to slide onto this. So that's gonna get welded to, where that piece go? Oh, there it is. This adapter that goes in there is gonna go in here. So and then this will all screw on top. What I think we're gonna do is take a piece of plate and just weld the plate to this. Oh yeah, good idea. <laughs> three quarter inch steel. <laughs> three quarter inch plate, one, a two inch solid steel bushing. This is a half inch. <laughs> half inch thick. <laughs> Tesla satellite's not going nowhere. Where are you going, Tesla? To the moon? We're trying to get to the moon, too. This is the liberation automation pole. This is where we have all the strippers come on our space satellite. That's gross. Hold on. Now do it. Cool. So most, you know, most regular Starlink owners, you know, they don't build a pole or nothing like that. They just fucking screw it to their ceiling. Fuck that. Alright. Oh, you get plugged in? Oh, we didn't look at the satellite. Yeah, it moved. Oh, it's, you can see it adjusting. Charles is trying to figure out the... Starlink situation right now. They tried to make this very simple. Obviously not smart enough. Yeah, there's the router. Well, it's in its final position. <laughs> and, uh, what did you just say? It's in its final position. For now. It's final. Final. Quite a bit bigger than we actually thought it was going to be. So we thought it was going to be. We this thought size. it was going to be this big. This is our Haas VF2. Go stand next to that <laughs> real quick. Haas VF2 YT. You still look big. Okay. Now here. If that doesn't put it in perspective of how big it is, it's huge. You can't even, it's almost impossible to fit it in the whole frame. You can't see over it. Let's bring everybody in for the first looks. What does it look on the inside? Ooh! We got a big old integrated spindle, 30 horsepower spindle. We got a single turret, 12 tool. All 12 t uh, tools are live tooling. And we have a NC programmable tailstock. We did not uh, have the money for a dual turret or dual spindle. The handoff. Yeah. So we opted in for a Y axis. So we have a double dovetail Y axis. So we can do off center milling, off center drilling. Which is way cooler for what we're gonna do. Yeah, we so need it. The handoff is like the least handoff of the worries. Handoff is kind of a, I don't want to say a luxury because this is dual a, spindle. This is luxury. <laughs> yeah. This is bougie. As this, I mean, yeah. This is this is insane, regardless, <laughs> like of the. It's luxury. Yeah, well, that's a luxury. Well, this is a luxury. So. <laughs> well, it was almost two hundred thousand dollars. Yeah, it's pretty expensive. Uh, what's really cool about this machine, though, that I've noticed so far is that the uh, chip conveyor is actually like integrated. 
It's in the bottom. It's kind of cool. And the casting is designed to funnel the chips down and then out of the machine. Over here. This and is the whole Jake doesn't have to do any chip conveying out of like he does on this machine. With a... <laughs> with one of those. Uh, this thing is all going to dump all the chips right out here. Dude, look at the look at the uh, anim the picture they have of the hand. It's like. <laughs> What's really really cool though is you can uh, cover it up here, and you you can just you just get in the motherfucker, and then you're in there. Uh, you get a really cool shot to come in here too of the spindle and how beefy the spindle is. The spindle is gnarly. Um, it's pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah, it's very cool. I think I'm gonna set my apartment up in here and say Yeah, just live in here. Yeah. It's big enough. Bedroom. It's it's two two person. Yeah, it's a, this is like a two bedroom apartment in New York. Call probably cost the same. Yeah. yeah. Um Oh more candy. Ooh, candy. And then look at the size of this ball screw. This ball screw is gnarly. Gnarly, gnarly. We had a few packages before the machine actually came yeah. over here. We have all of our live tooling. Uh we opted in for four live tooling stations. So this is a Horizontal live tooling. We have a couple perpendicular live tooling setups. Just to put it in perspective. This box is 30 G's. Yeah. <laughs> uh, just this box. Then we have those boxes. It did come with a, uh, a, a toolbox. So I got myself a little. Uh -huh. You get your own wrenches. Oh, so with your oh, purchase. You're going to like that. You, you, love that? Your, you love your wrenches for your machine. Yeah, I like wrenches. We didn't get any wrenches with our hoss. Whoa, is that a Japanese stamp? It's a Japanese stamp. Oh my god, it's JDM. What an amazing day. What an amazing purchase. And um, we still have yet to actually make Starlink work. Yeah, our Starlink doesn't work. Shout out Elon Musk. Oh. Yeah, hey, hey, it doesn't work yet. We just, uh, we probably set I was going to say, it's probably too smart for us. We're the 1% of people that can't set up the Starlink. We made a cool pull no, for it. We made a pull. We made a really cool pull for it. We're, we're, and it's a little less windy now, but it still is. But look at that. Pull. Starlink. And we fed the wire across here temporarily and punched the pole in there. And... So hopefully we Come get on. our Starlink working. Right now it's got a big red. I don't really know what's up with this thing. Well, you keep... Oh, that's the other my my other complaint is this doesn't stand up for shit. What an amazing, amazing machine. I cannot wait to see it throw chips. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. Where's Quentin when you need him? He loves peeling stuff. That's Quentin's dirty pleasure. He's peeling stickers. Oh. Wow, it smells like uh, it smells really bad actually. It smells like a Ferrari. Here we go. We'll do it, North Korea. We will send the news. This is a touch screen, but the guy said not to touch it with greasy fingers. No, he said not to touch it at all with your fingers. Mm -hmm. He said use, there's a stylus. He said use the stylus. There's a stylus included. And so you're don't supposed touch it with your fingers. Yeah. He also said don't touch this in general. <laughs> it's probably one of the more satisfying parts, so is this. Click. Click.